Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello Grade 1s and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Autumn and Revision. And before we get into a lesson, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. So, remember how do we sanitize? Well, we take a little bit of sanitizer, we put it in our hand, and we rub inside, around, very good, in between our fingers, on our wrists, and on our fingertips. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we will be talking about reading, the number eight and syllables. This activity today, let us take a look at page 17. On page 17, we are going to be doing revision. Now, revision means that we are looking back at what we did and all the words for our vocabulary we have done before. So we are going to take a look and read them out loud. The first one, and I want you to repeat after me, is mother, mother, father, father, brother, brother, sister, Sister, baby, baby, grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather. Well done! Now, as you can see from our picture, we have all those people right there. I want you to practice now by pointing and reading to the person that we are talking about. Are you ready? Let's try again. Mother, mother, father, father, brother, brother, sister, Sister, baby, baby, grandmother, grandmother, grandfather, grandfather. Well done. Good job, everyone. Now we have other words that we we're talking about before. These words, we also know them. So let us repeat after me. Food, clothes, birthday, celebration. 
Let's repeat them again. Food. Food. Clothes. Clothes. Birthday. Birthday. Celebration. Celebration. Well done. Let's read the next set of words. Blow, blow, run, run, straw, straw, huff, huff, build, build. Good job, everyone. And the last words are, repeat after me, sun, sun, wind, wind, cold, cold, warm, warm, weather, weather. Good job! So, it is going to be your job to read these words. Practice, practice, practice so that you improve your English every day. I'm going to leave you to try and do them by yourself and remember, if you have forgotten a word, it's okay to ask for help. Take your time and I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our exercise now, let's turn to page 18. On page 18, we are going to be doing lots and lots of activities for the number eight. Everyone, let's say Eight. Eight. Good job, everyone. Now the number eight, as you can see, needs to be traced. So I'd like you first to try with your finger. And then after you're done with your finger, you can use a pencil to trace. Then after that, I'd like you to please try with me on the board. Now I have the number eight on the board and as you can see I'm going to take my finger and try and trace. We start by going towards the left and we go round, looping down, coming back up to where we started. Did you see that? Let's try again. We go Round, take your time, going across and down, going up, across and back to where we started. Now the number eight is very fun to draw. So I want you to continue trying by yourself in the air and when you think you are ready, you can do it on the board. So we are going to start at the top. And we go round, round, down, and we go down, coming back up, and we are back where we started. We're going to try again. So we're going to start again in the middle, and we're going to go round, down, Back, round, up, 
and right back where we started and that is the number eight you are also going to trace the name of the number which is eight we start here go across round and down that is the first letter the next one is very easy down and a dot then we say round up and down make sure that you catch all the trace lines so that when you trace it will be neat and correct let me continue down up and round and then the last letter has a flick down flick and a cross and that is the word eight there are many many other things though boys and girls that we can actually see when we say the word eight. I have a special picture I want to show you and I want you to tell me what that animal is. Now, what do you think this animal is? Hmm, it has a big head and it looks like it's got eight legs. Let's try and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what do we call this animal, boys and girls? Yes, it is an octopus. Everyone, let's say octopus. Octopus. Let's greet Mr. Octopus. Hello, Mr. Octopus. He looks very happy to see us. <laughs> so that animal has eight on it. And just like your exercise, you are going to practice not just drawing the number eight, but identifying things or images with the number eight. So you're going to start at the top where you color eight ants, and then you're going to color or rather circle the image that has eight plants then don't forget to write the number eight for the missing number line and also tracing the numbers so that they can be complete take your time have fun and i'll see you just now after the advert break follow us on my zone facebook active kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with zoe and zoshi The last exercise that we're going to do today, boys and girls, is going to be on page 19. On page 19, we are going to be doing syllables. And this is when we read the words and we break them down according to how we hear them. So the first one is going to be the first picture that we see. You can see that we have one, two, three flowers. It is going to be your job to color the flower that shows the right number of syllables. Now to get our syllables, we are going to clap. To be clapping. Now each time we clap, we are going to say the word and we're going to break it down from how we are clapping. Let's take a look at the first picture. We have a picture of a ladybug so now we need to know how many syllables we are going to be using so let's take our time and let's say the word ladybug ladybug good job now let's break the word into syllables ladybug Let's try again. I want you to clap your hands with me this time. Ladybug. 
Good job. One more time. Ladybug. It sounds like we have three syllables because we are saying ladybug. And that is three. So you are going to color the third flower. Let's do the one where we can see a can and there's some drops coming out of it. That word there is the word water. Everyone, let's say water. Water. Now let's try and clap it. Are you ready? Let's go. Water. Water. Let's try again. Water. Water. Good job, everyone. So how many syllables do you think there are in the word water? Remember, we are saying water. If you said that there are two syllables, good job. Well done. So you are going to color the second flower. Now the last one, you are going to figure out by yourself because I'm not going to help you anymore. I think you are clever boys and girls. So remember, when you're doing your syllables, you can clap them so that you can understand how many they are. If you need help, you can make it a game with someone at home or your friends. So take your time, make sure you color the beautiful flower and the correct one too. And I will see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 74 3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had so much fun. Remember, if you don't know, you can always ask. So now that we are done with our lesson, it's time to sanitize. And this time we can sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away. Yay! Good job, everyone! I wonder though, I haven't seen Sashi the whole day. He said he was going to pay me a visit. Where is my special friend? Oh, there you are! Hello, Sashi! <laughs> so, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you so much for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.